this really happened a couple of hours ago. I was standing watching practice. Practice was just beginning and I was taking inventory of who was there and who wasn't. And I was looking at the field. I was looking at the training room and I just to see who wasn't practicing. And in the training room, I saw Javon Kinlaw, who is the king of the training room. He's usually in the training room. And I'm a cool 70 yards away. I see him walking out. I make a mental note. We make eye contact. He starts walking toward me. And I'm thinking, he might be walking over here to talk to me. He was. He walked all the way across. The I'm not allowed to talk to the players. The players are allowed to talk to us if they want to. Kinlaw walks all the way across the field, walks behind me, and stands over my left shoulder, staring at me, behind me. So I turn and I say, what's up, moop dog? And he doesn't say anything. And I say, why are you looking at me like that, Javon? And he said, what are you gonna do about it, you bitch ass? And then he said one more word that I can't say. And then I turned to face him and I said, oh, it's like that. And he said, yeah, it's like that. And then he knocked the hat off my head, just like that. I've never, I haven't had someone knock the hat off my head since I was in elementary school. My hat flew through the air and hit Josh Dubow of Associated Press in the head. He might have a concussion, I don't know. It was very upsetting, but he wasn't done, no. Javon Kinlaw stayed out there to watch practice and a few minutes later, I walked from one side of the field to the other to just to get ready for team drills. As I walked across, I passed the defensive lineman where Javon Kinlaw was watching practice. And as I was approaching, he saw me and he started rapping about me. There was a song and he started like putting in ad libs. He was like, boy, you a bitch, looking at me. Boy, you a bitch, sucker ass bitch. Boy, you a bitch. I thought that part was pretty funny. Javon Kinlaw called me a sucker ass bitch today. You can't say that. So to me, I mean, it was one of the better days of my life. Definitely one of the high points of my career. I'm honored that Javon Kinlaw thinks I'm a sucker ass bitch. I mean, I've worked so hard throughout my life to attain this status. Thank you, Javon. But I just don't understand why he's so mad. Like, Javon, what are you upset about? Is it the fact that I said you have an 80 year old knee? Is it the fact that I said that you're a terrible pass rusher and you're just a two down player? Is it the fact that I said the Niners shouldn't have drafted you and they should have taken Tristan Wirfs instead? Is it the fact that I said that you're unprofessional and immature? It escapes me. Which of the hundred negative things I've said about Javon Kinlaw in the last couple of years moved him to approach me in such a way? But you know what? I applaud Javon Kinlaw for coming to speak to me directly. And I ask you, what do you think Javon's mad about?